Well, thousands of taxpayers have been the target of phone calls from someone calling impersonating IRS agents. The phone fraud is only one of the techniques used to rip off unsuspecting consumers. Here with more is the Better Business Bureau's Debbie Bridgman. Debbie, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. So this is a pretty popular fraud technique. Huh? Yeah, really, not just in southeast Texas, but all across the nation. In 2014, the top scam of the year was between the IRS tax scam and the arrest warrant scam, partly because calling up on your caller ID, it says Internal Revenue Service. So people were thinking, this is real. Not real. It's not real. So. Bottom line on this deal is the IRS is not going to call you, having owed taxes, myself, the IRS is not going to come calling for you, are they? Exactly. Like I mean, and even if you owe taxes and they want money, they're still not going to call you. I mean, that's the bottom line. Even whatever your caller ID says, if it says IRS, it's not. They just won't call you. If they do and you do pick up the phone and they start asking for personal information, hang up. Just, just don't even acknowledge. Same thing with email. They're mm -hmm. not going to email you. If you see it, trash it. Get rid of it. I mean, if the IRS wants to contact you, it will be through the mail. Okay, so if you're in a situation where you're on the phone and, you know, when people, when they get on phone situations like that, you get a little bit nervous when you hear IRS. What can you do to keep from really panicking in that situation? You just have to remember um, not, you know, that, that the IRS is not going to ask you for personal information over the phone. You know, nobody should do that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, whether they are calling you because they want to give you a refund, that sounds so good. Oh, they just need your banking information. They can direct deposit it. That, it sounds too good to be true. It's not going to happen. And if you owe money, that can be very frightening. You know, you owe a thousand dollars. We're going to come and get you. We're going to arrest you. You haven't paid your taxes. Sometimes you're just not thinking or you're like, well, wait a minute. I just did my taxes. I don't know. It's scary. I mean, and sometimes they do catch you off guard. But the mm -hmm. thing is, the bottom line is IRS is not going to call you. They're not going to email you. They're going to mail you a certified letter or whatever, whatever they're looking for. But and, yeah, and if they call her ID, if it did say IRS, I think a lot of people would get well, very yeah. concerned because it looks real. Same thing with the arrest warrant scam that's going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, you get a call and it says Jefferson County and there's a, a warrant out for your arrest. And sometimes you know there's not, but other times maybe there is. And you're like, uh-oh. And they're wanting you to go to the store and get one of these green dot cards. And, you know, we, we want so badly to put a big stop sign by those green dot cards to say, you know, wait a minute, don't get this yet. You know, even the clerks at, at CVS and Walgreens, you know, ask them, <laughs> why are you getting this? You know, we just want to be sure. And we're, we're working on some stuff right now because between the arrest warrant scam, the IRS tax scam, and the Entergy scam, a lot of it, it just sounds so real and people are going and giving out their money. All right, Debbie, thanks so much. And if you have any questions or concerns about this, contact the Better Business Bureau. Again, That's thank right. you very much for being thank here. Thank you. Okay.